Holly's about to start, that's the question. Hello and welcome to episode number four of Holly's Hot Spurs and today I'm going to be talking about that feisty Man United game. And may I add, it's pre-season. Pre-season. Like I said, where do I start? I mean, um, there's a lot of moments in that game. A lot. Some bad, others even badder. <laughs> But there we go. But first of all, I want to start with our team selection again. I like the fact that Mr. Potch has put more faith in our youth. That's what you got to do in pre-season friendlies, you know. Experimente, so to speak. Um, it's nice to see Tanga Ganga. I think that's how you say his name. But he had an okay game. Our defence was a bit all over the place, wasn't it? Man United were slicing and dicing us quite a bit. But it's inevitable this is going to come up. Inevitable. The whole game was pretty much... Let's break some ankles. I'm not even joking. There's a few uh, challenges, and I'm not going to be biased. There's a few challenges coming in both sets of uh, team players. They're a bit uh, feisty, a bit crazy. I mean, I'm going to talk about the one Delhi committed first. And yes, you could argue he won the ball, but you could also argue he nearly sliced his leg off. But there we go. Um, that probably kick started everything. Delhi being his Delhi self, and. Um, I should say no more, really. <laughs> then we've got to talk about Mr. Sissoko. There's been a lot of controversy. A lot of controversy, shall we say. Some saying that it was unintentional that he stepped on. You see it from both ways. Is Does he know he's there? Probably yes. Um, does it look like that he's holding onto his foot? Yes. So in some angles, you could argue that. In other ways, you could argue that the impact of Sissoko's leg on his rolling over and that rolling over has caused him to hold on to Sissoko's leg unintentionally. Um, I don't really know where I stand to be honest. Awful lot of accusations flying around left, right and centre. For me it's probably a yellow card. Like I like to back our own players but when you see it in black and white you're like oh go in. But then that follows on to Piera's tackle and Kane. Now that has a lot of controversy around it, and I'm not even joking, I shouldn't even comment. Some people are saying that apparently that was a clean tackle. Yes, he wins the ball, 100%. Piero wins the ball on Kane. It's not 100% that the follow through is great. For me, that's a yellow card all day long, okay? Makes contact with the ball, but then follow through his studs are up. I'm sorry, but in modern day football, that, that is a yellow. Like, okay, yeah, football's getting a bit soft now, but that is a yellow card. In today's rule books, that is a yellow card, no matter what. I'm gonna like, stop ranting, because I don't wanna get pissed off again. <laughs> like, okay, Sissoko's done a bad thing. Pierre has done a bad thing, okay? Both, for me, are yellow cards. I'm not sticking up for Sissoko, because for me, I think Sissoko's a little bit in the wrong, but then you can't have opposite fans squinnying about Piera if you're then gonna try and back Piera when he's clearly Swice, swiped Kane out. Whether he meant it inten unintentionally or whatever, it's still a yellow card. I don't care. That follow through studs are up. That could have been an ankle break. I don't even care. Call me soft, whatever. Today's rule books, that is a yellow. Done. Ndombele once again held his own, which is nice to see. I can't wait for the season to start. See him doing bits and bobblies with Sissoko in the middle of the park on a regular basis. It's going to be quite interesting. I made a joke that um, Ndombele put Pogba on the floor. People say, ah, 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 it's just an interception, where I slipped. I don't care, I thought it was funny. People don't get jokes these days, but there we go. <laughs> all in all, we were a bit poor though. Got to hand it to uh, Man United. They they were playing some good football. They were. Like, at times I thought, Jesus Christ, this is a bit to watch, you know. But there we go. Um, I felt Gazaniga should have done better on the first goal for Martial. Martial strike it with some force. We can't be getting nutmegs at your front post. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We can't be having that. <laughs> um, I feel sorry for Gasly though. He's done quite well, you know, in these preseason friendlies. Got to hand it to him. Like he has stepped up, but I just thought he had a lapse in concentration that game. Wasn't his best. I mean, Gomez's goal. Got to hand it to him. It's pretty slick. You know, I'm not. I'm not bigging him up. But it was a pretty good goal. Um, you could argue that Gasly could have done better. Like I say, it was a bit like the first one, beating near post. But he's too wary of his back post, you know. So I, th I just think his decision making wasn't quite there. If he's gone 
if he went down at his front post, he would have saved it. But if Gomez had gone for the back post and Gaza would have gone down, we would have said it was a bad save again. So, a bad save, a bad decision. So, mm, you know, it's only a pre-season friendly, you know, we'll, we'll leave it there. We've got to talk about Lucas's goal. The thing that made that goal look very good was his little flicky feet at the, at the start, his quick feet. One, two, round you, goodbye, goal, you know? A few rough challenges going in here and there on both sets of teams. I'm not bigging up top them, I'm saying it from perspective, you know. We needed to do better. Move on from that game. Pre-season friendly, not our greatest. A lot of anger flying about on both set of camps, you know. But we'll draw a line under it, we'll chalk it, we'll move on. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please um, like, comment, share. What's the last one? Oh, and subscribe. We're so close to 100 subscribers. It'd be amazing for me to change my URL because it's driving me insane having loads of random numbers and letters. That's all I want. <laughs> so if you have liked this video, please subscribe and hopefully see you again soon. See you later.